Hey everyone, it's Matt with Tar Heel Digging. Well, I know with the winter we're having, especially you folks in the Northeast, you've got a lot of opportunity to do some research online. So I thought I'd go over a few of the websites that I use, some of them specific to North Carolina, but I'll show you anyway. They've been very helpful to me in getting locations and permissions to hunt. So here we go, let's get started. Okay, one very helpful website I use is, are these GIS uh, government maps. These are put on by IMAPS and basically it's county by county and they're put out there for tax purposes, uh, property value and tax purposes. And if I'm going to go to a county near where I live and I'm going to show you exactly what these look like. You can see all the different boundaries here and borders. Well, those are different properties. You come up, you click on them and a name will come up of the property owner, which is very helpful if you go to ask for permission. They have different views here. I'm going to click to an aerial view, which gives you an aerial photograph very similar to Google Maps but if I wanted to metal detect at uh, this house or the property around it now I can go there and ask and I already know the people's names that own the house very helpful these GIS maps very very helpful okay here's a website that I've used countless times and this is uh, specific for North Carolina but there might be other states out there where you'd see something like this uh, this is put together by the University of North Carolina and these are historic overlay maps uh, basically they've got a list here of every county uh, I, I can't tell you for sure if it's every county or not but I, it sure seems like they didn't leave any out uh, I'm gonna go down here to Wake County which is where the city of Raleigh is I'm gonna click on this 1914 they call it a soil survey. I'm going to zoom in here to Raleigh. And you can also see that it shows the locations of all the houses, churches, and schools, things like that. So I don't pay too much attention to the soil survey, but more or less to where these old homes are and all these roads. I can fade the historic map in. I can turn the historic map off so I can see today's view. Uh, very helpful tool. And I can zoom in pretty close before it... Uh, it doesn't let me see what's uh, what's on the historic map but a very helpful tool that's the North Carolina maps through the UNC library highly recommended and I'll put a link in the description below okay another excellent website that covers most of the country not all but most is historic aerials I know a lot of you folks out there use it but it's extremely helpful and uh, let me show you one thing I really like about it. I'm going to zoom into an area here. So stay tuned. So one thing that I like to do when I'm looking for sites to hunt is to find places where homes used to be. You know, it's easy enough to drive around and look for a historic home and ask for permission and, and you know, metal detect in their yard. But I like to find places back in the woods, you know me out hunting in the woods, where places used to be. And here's a good example of that. I'm on the Historic Aerials website right now, and I'm going to go to a feature called Compare, and I'm going to move it to Slide. So I've got the 2006 aerials up on this side. I'm going to select the 1954 aerials on that side. Now watch what happens when I slide this bar over. There's the same area, the same road. Back in 1954, there was a farmhouse there. Look at that, thriving little farmhouse. Slide this back over and you can see right now it's nothing but woods, all grown up. So that would be an excellent place to go ask permission to metal detect back in there. Nice thing is, there aren't any manicured lawns or anything like that. People really aren't going to care that much. So it's nice to always ask permission and, and then tell them where you want to hunt and explain to them why. Um, but usually people aren't going to care that much. You know, if it's a manicured yard, uh, you might get... More no's than yeses, but in a situation like this, I have yet to be turned down. So think about that, guys. Historic aerials. Slide feature. Very helpful for research. Okay, guys, this is a, a website that I want to share with you now that is specific to North Carolina, and it has a ton of information on it. Uh, I'm sure other states have sites like this as well. This is the North Carolina State Historic Preservation Office. And on this website, they have a list of all the historic sites and location and description of each one. Just look how many historic sites there are in North Carolina alone. Now, I'm going to zoom in here kind of random. Um, 
I'm going to go kind of over here north of Greensboro, Winston-Salem. I don't live over here at all. This I've never hunted over here. This would be strange territory for me, but I see a lot of historic sites. Uh, the more I zoom in, the more detail it gives me. And when you zoom in to a certain point, pretty soon it's going to start listing descriptions. You see, when I get into about here, now all of a sudden I start getting descriptions of, of what these sites are. Um, there's also little lookup codes where you can get details on the property. What year was the home built? Who owned it? Things like that. One thing that's really key that I want to show you, with this site, it lists also homes that are gone. You see these three right here. Gone, gone, gone. That means the home is no longer there. Now there might be another house on top of it. I don't know. I'll have to go zoom in here and take a look. But here's three homes that no longer exist. Um, as you know, those are some of my favorite places to hunt. Hunt where old homes were. So I'm going to go to the layers here, the background view, and I'm going to find an aerial map. Here's one from 2010. And you can see that, yes, there are homes here that, that replaced those old places. So, But it's still worth a drive through there and to see what you can find. Um, anyway, it's, it's an awesome resource. I love this, this map. It's very user-friendly. It takes a little while to refresh. But just look at the, the wealth of locations that are marked on this map, guys. It's amazing how many historical places there are out there. So check this out. I'll leave a link in the description. This is one of my secret weapons right here, guys. I use this map all the time. Glad to share it. Thanks for watching, everyone.